is Veda day number three, and um, I don't know how much video footage I'm gonna get today. Again, I have to go to work. Um, it's about eight o'clock in the morning right now. Um, everyone's still asleep because we have a family that sleeps in, which is kind of nice. Um, but I'm having my coffee and watching a little bit of news, and then I have to go get ready for work. I have a couple of um, treatments today. They're actually body treatments, so that's gonna be a nice change. Um, and it's actually gonna be a nice day today, which I'm excited about. Doesn't look so hot right now, but um, I know the overcast stuff is supposed to burn off like around noon. So I'm excited for this weekend. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. Um, yeah, so I don't know how much exact video footage I'm going to get today. Um, like I said, I have to work, so it kind of makes it a little bit difficult, but I'll try and, you know, I'll attempt to vlog something um, if something funny happens or, or you know. I have to tell you guys something or whatever because um, you never know I do get those crazy clients on my table sometimes and sometimes they're just hilarious um, but yeah I'm just gonna hang out for probably another five minutes and then I'm gonna go throw myself together um, that's the beauty of doing massages for a living is that I don't have to really I don't have to throw on a whole face of makeup or really do much with myself because I wear a uniform every day so I don't have to pick out my clothes and I'm in a dark room with somebody who is face down on a table, so they don't really care what I look like. I mean, I'm not going to go there looking all grungy or anything like that, but I mean, I don't have to, you know, doll myself up every day, which is a huge time saver. I would hate to have to have a job that requires you to put on a full face every single morning. <laughs> I would be so annoyed by that. Okay, well, I'm going to stop rambling now, and I'm going to go get ready for work. You guys have a great morning, and I will talk to you in a little while. All right, so I decided to go um, get some Starbucks this morning because I have to get gas. I didn't end up getting gas yesterday. Um, I had enough to get myself back and forth to work, so. Um, yeah, and the Starbucks just so happens to be in the same parking lot as the gas station I go to, which is always so convenient. So, yeah, I'm going to grab myself a Starbucks since I have some time, and... Yeah, I'm gonna clean out my car too. Got some garbage going on in here. That's what happens when you have a long commute to work and back. You end up accumulating, you know, empty bottles from drinks or just random trash or whatever. So every time I get gas, I tend to clean out my car. Tell me I'm not the only person that, that does that. Especially when you're a mom, you end up with like goldfish in your car and snacks and just random kid stuff. Sorry, I'm turning. So yeah, my car is always kind of a disastrous mess, but hey, whatever. All right, well, I'm going to get myself my Starbucks. I'm pulling up over here to the gas station, and I'll talk to you later. I was going to ask you guys, what is your favorite drink at Starbucks? Um, that way I can maybe get some comments out of my videos, see if they're working. See if my comments are, are coming through or not. Yeah, so just leave that in the comments. Let me know what you, what you order from Starbucks when you go. All right. All right, guys, I'm on my way home from work. Oh, traffic is terrible. So, um, yeah, I figured I'd make a video and let you guys know what was up. I ended up having uh, my two clients today, and then I had to hang out at work for a while. I um, waited for one of the girls to bring back the massage chair because I'm going to be working a baby shower this weekend doing chair massage. So I had to borrow the one from work because I don't own one, and they're like 350 bucks, and I wasn't about to buy one for just... The one thing because I I hardly ever do chair massage so yeah that's kind of been what we're what I have been up to um, lunch today up at work was chicken cacciatore which I actually normally don't like and it was pretty good this week so um, I think my taste buds are changing since surgery um, and then I'm gonna go home and I think my husband and I are gonna go to um, Big Lots in um, it's about it's out of town but it's like only 15 minutes out of town they closed the one that was local to me um, and we're gonna look for rugs and my husband wants a greenhouse for our little seedlings we're planting for the garden so yeah I guess we'll look for one of those and then I think we're gonna go out to dinner because we didn't get a chance to go to dinner for my birthday because it was just a crazy busy weekend I you know ended up working on my birthday and then I had to go out of town because it was my niece's birthday and you know all that stuff so we are gonna maybe go out to dinner and yeah. So I will update you guys later on what we end up doing. What are we doing, Tail Grace? Are we a Mexican food? Mm. We have a Mexican food? Alisteca? 
What are you eating? Uh, what is that? Food. Mexican food? What are you eating right now, though? I'm eating. Lemon? That? That's a lemon. That's a lime. Lime. No lime. Yeah. Mm. Lime. <laughs> she doesn't like that? Mm. Where, in, very hot, okay? Oh, dinner's here. Tara's having a cheese quesadilla, beans and rice. Daddy's having alistec and nachos, shredded beef. And then mine got messed up, so. Eat your food, baby. She wants some cream. She wants sour cream to dip it in. Where's that? Daddy's giving you cream? cream. Give me a kissy. Please? You being a stinker? Kiss me. What are you doing? She's sticking her finger in my sour cream and stuff. Mmm, -hmm. mm, yummy. Mommy's pretty much done. No. Whoop. Come on, you're falling out of your booster seat. No. Yeah. Mm. Yummy. That's me. That's me. <laughs> Eat some of your quesadilla. Don't neglect, don't neglect the guacamole in the in the beans. Yeah. Daddy yeah, wants a bite of beans. Is that okay? No. Oh, we just got home. We had to lock the pup pup in the bathroom. She's so excited to see us. Yeah. Oh, she's like, don't ever leave me. That's how you learn, huh? So that's how you learn. Yeah, she's like eating my ear. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry about the restaurant vlogging, you guys. I'm still like, I don't know how people just vlog out in public. It's really awkward. And uh, my husband's not really big into it. He thinks it's kind of um, like just rude to use your phone while we eat so that's why that footage is kind of lame um not like the rest of my footage is any better but dixie it's okay all right so i just got cut off by a freaking telemarketer or something so yeah we just got back from dinner and now it's gonna be tara's bath time i'm gonna change this into, into some comfortable clothes dixie it's okay it's okay say hi youtube say hi youtube Oh, oh, it's okay. You probably cried the whole time you were gone, huh? All right, well, like I said, I'm going to change some comfortable clothes, and then, ooh, that light is bright. Sorry about that. And then I'm probably just going to watch a movie or something, chill out. It's Tim's night to put Tara to sleep, so that means I get mommy time tonight, watch my own shows. Dixie, I'm going to talk to you guys later, because she will not stop crying. Daddy is putting Tara to sleep, so I am enjoying some mommy time <clears throat> watching the new Julian and Bill. They just got the word that their um, gestational carrier is going to do it again for them, so that's exciting. I love the show. If you guys don't watch it, you don't know what you're missing. They've been through so much with their fertility and everything and her cancer, and it's just such an amazing, inspiring show. So, yeah, I'm just hanging out, being lazy in my jammies and probably gonna go to bed in a little bit i don't know maybe i'll stay up late tonight maybe i'll be a rebel who knows um tomorrow i'm off and i have a hair appointment i'm so excited um i have a girl that i do a massage trade with so about every six or eight weeks i do um i give her a massage and then she does my hair and then we cycle back through so it's just like the best thing ever because um the salon she works at is an Aveda salon, and they are so expensive. Their product is ridiculous, but it's so good. It's all organic, and it has, like, real low um, toxins and all that other stuff. But the color is really vibrant and really good. And I don't know why it seems fuzzy in here. Maybe it's the lighting from the TV. Um, but, yeah, so that is tomorrow at 1230. But I think tomorrow before my hair appointment, I might go um, on a walk with my mommy group, which will be fun. 
or um, I might go to the gym because I haven't been to the gym in like a week and a half and I'm totally slacking. I need to get my butt back on that elliptical or back in my yoga class. <coughs> um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for tonight, you guys. I'm pretty boring <laughs> day again. That's kind of what happens on the days that I work. It's not very exciting. We don't do very much. Just, you know, go through, go through the motions, I guess. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I think I'm going to continue doing the, the daily vlogs throughout VEDA. And I'm, like I said, I'm probably going to throw some tag videos in there somewhere, but I think I'm still going to continue doing, um, the daily ones. Cause I think it's kind of fun. You know, I don't know how much you guys like it. If you like it, let me know. I mean, maybe someday I'll just get a good camera and, um, I will do like continue doing them every day, not just for VEDA. So we will see how that goes and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.